today I thought doing a little bit of a different video or more like back to what I used to do and that is creating makeup looks and I thought what makeup look can I create today like I've done green eyeshadow I've done uh, blue orange pink purple like I've done a lot of things like that right but one color that I have to say I can't I don't remember ever just trying it that just that one color it is white I don't usually play with white shades or like off-white shades or maybe like ivory type of thing um, and I thought, why not try it today? I think that's amazing even for like bridal makeup, but I kind of just want to see how it looks on my eyes. Is that going to be a color that I'm going to like? I don't know. I, I don't know. We're just going to discover it today. So if you're up for this, hop on the train and let's keep on watching. So for this video and going with something super light, um, I decided to go with an eyeshadow palette that, let me tell you, it's I had it in my collection for two years, but I have not played with it that much. And this is Tati Beauty uh, Texture Neutrals, I think it was, Volume 1. And um, yeah. Who has this in their collection? Let me know. Let me know down below if you have it in your collection. Because when I purchased this two years ago, I purchased it the moment she um, announced it. And the first time uh, I was able to get it. But this is how it looks inside if you've never seen it. Uh, but it looks super cool, right? But sometimes this eyeshadow palette can be very, mm, how to put it out there, uh, intimidating. You know, it can be intimidating because it has all the sparkles and stuff. There's some shades in here that I'm not like a big fan of, like uh, the metallic and the sequins. They're a little bit different formulas, not something that I'm used to. But the mattes, I remember, they were always really nice. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start with Aura from the mattes right here. Um, and I'm going to put this one all over my eyelid. I remember whites are just something that is very hard to show up on my eyes. And they kind of have to be... Uh, very very pigmented in order for me um, in order for you to see it on my eyes and as you can see this one does not show on my eyes that much but I will try to make it work so I'm gonna add it all the way until all the way till like my uh, um, my eyebrow There you go. You can see it just a tiny bit, but not a lot. So how is everybody doing today? Have you guys done anything interesting today? Actually, I went to a real estate, a sale real estate, I guess that's how you call it, uh, where they sell a bunch of their stuff from a house. And uh, I went there with my friend because it's actually in our neighborhood. And it was kind of sad to go through there because, I mean, let me tell you, the, this this person or these people that lived in this house had a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff and a lot of cool, interesting stuff. But it was kind of sad to go through that because it kind of gives you that feeling is like oh my god this is what's gonna happen when i'm gonna die but i mean when i'm gonna die probably i'm not gonna have all those cool stuff like this person did <laughs> but um it just it just felt weird to go through somebody else's property and things and it just 
yeah, it was interesting, but it was it was it was kind of interesting because all these things they kind of say a story. They see the story behind these people, so that was impactful, but also sad in the same time. All right, so I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Aura, this one right here, but I'm gonna go with the sequin Aura this time. And I'm gonna put this one. So this one has a little bit of a, like it's like a mat with sparkles, right? So I'm just gonna put this one, I'm gonna add it right here on the top lid, but just under the crease. Just that area. Ooh, I kind of start, I kind of start liking how this looks on me. What do you think? Have you ever played with whites? Like just whites? I think that was just such a 2000 era. Like, I remember there were a lot of people that were playing with them back in the time, in that time. That is not bad at all. Very light makeup. I think this is so easy to do. Like, anybody can create this eye look. I'm gonna take a little bit of that aura, but the matte shade, and I'm gonna run that a little bit under my eye. Okay, that's pretty, that is pretty. Now, another thing that I wanna add, I have this Nabla thing right here. This is the Miami Lights Glitter Palette. I have this white glitter right here that I really wanna try. I wanna see how is this gonna look with this makeup, right? So let's see, let's figure this out. I'm just gonna take it with my finger and apply it. I do need a mirror. All right. So this, this one looks white in there, but it has like a, it has a little bit of like a sparkly pink colors on that glitter. You know what I mean? But not, not a lot, just a tiny little bit. I'm going to come close and show you because I don't think the camera catches from all the way out there. Do you see that? Has a tiny bit of sparkle in it. I feel like this would be such a cool look for like one of those music festivals. It's not like I'm going to any music festival, let's be honest. Um, I am pretty old to go to something like that, but I think this will be really nice on those occasions, but also I think this will look so nice by just like maybe a barbecue or maybe when you go to vacation and you just want to go like especially on a hot vacation and you go out at night and you just want to add something simple, this is the way to go. But also I think this Kind of screams a little bit bridal as well to me. Very nice. Wow, we I like this. And then I'm gonna go with should I go with this one or should I go with this one? So this one it is a blink eye pencil in white. And I let me try it. Let's just see. Yeah, I like that. Now let's add the mascara. So I'm going to go add the mascara and be right back just to kind of show you up close and personal. So here's the look.
what do you think? I like how this looks like. I am kind of impressed and I can't believe I never actually tried something like this. Very simple makeup look with barely anything in there. Just a little bit of white and a little bit of sparkle and mascara, a little bit of white liner under in the waterline and there you go. And for my lips, I added a Pat McGrath lipstick. This is in Flesh 3, super pretty. But yeah, what do you think? Is this a summery approved eye look? Is this a bridal eye look? Is this, what would you categorize this eye look? Because I love it. I love it. And I also love the fact that it kind of gives your lashes, make your lashes look bigger than what they are just because it's that contrast. They have it. Thank you so much for watching this. Don't forget, we do have a giveaway in the description box. You have all the details about it. And the secret question of the day, it is, mm, is this a bridal? It, I need your answers. This is this a bridal uh, makeup or not? What is your opinion about it? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time with another video. Bye.